In our lab, we strive to keep honeybees healthy. One of the greatest threats to the honeybee is a parasitic mite called Varroa destructor, which can wreak havoc on colony health. The Varroa mite is a bit like a tick that feeds on developing bees. This is when the honeybees are most vulnerable. The female mite enters the cell of a honeybee larva just prior to capping. Shortly after entering the cell, the mother mite lays eggs. She then pierces the soft cuticle of a developing bee as it undergoes pupation, creating a feeding spot for her offspring. After the mite eggs hatch, the juvenile mites feed on the pupa's hemolymph, the insect equivalent of blood. Naturally, this weakens the developing bee. Unfortunately, these vampire mites not only feed on insect hemolymph, they also spread disease. Varroa mites can carry deformed wing virus, or DWV, an ancient bee virus that used to live quite harmoniously within its honeybee host. Before varroa mites entered the picture, DWV could only spread to new colonies if the host hive was strong and healthy enough to reproduce via swarming. This is considered vertical transmission, transferring the virus from parent to offspring. Now varroa acts as a horizontal vector of DWV. Varroa can hitch a ride on adult bees and transfer from a weak dying colony to a new healthy host. And so DWV has mutated and become more virulent. Because varroa mites can spread from one colony to another, a healthy apiary of beehives can quickly fall sick if it picks up an influx of mites from nearby collapsing colonies. The best way to monitor for mites is to take a small sample of adult bees from the nursery area in the colony and test them for mite infestation. The most effective means of counting mites is to place the bee sample in alcohol and shake it vigorously to dislodge all mites. Beekeepers typically do this for one to three minutes per hive. In our lab, we use a commercial agitator that shakes samples for 30 minutes, ensuring that all mites are dislodged and then counted. This allows for a more accurate evaluation of mite infestation per 100 bees. If beekeepers attempted to match our standards and they had five hives, it would take them approximately two and a half hours of shaking, plus additional time to evaluate mite infestation rates per 100 bees. We receive samples from all over the country, processing them quickly so that beekeepers receive their mite infestation results rapidly. Our lab can process 120 samples per day, so our turnaround from the time we receive the samples until we send out the results is typically two weeks. Beekeepers then receive a report that includes the results from their eight monitored colonies, along with regional and national averages. This information can then be used to develop an appropriate varroa mite management strategy and ensure that it is working significantly, thus reducing their colony losses.